We're doing a randomised controlled trial here in Mackay HHS um, and what we're doing is we're, the cart actually um, monitors uh, compression depth and compression rate and gives feedback on whether or not um, somebody using the cart has actually administered CPR correctly. Um, and it can actually be used to deliver um, CPR training to staff without the need for face-to-face -face training to happen. So we're doing a randomised controlled trial here in Mackay HHS to um, compare the effectiveness of face-to-face -face delivered um, CPR training with um, CART delivered CPR training um, because we um, obviously appreciate that the CART, the CART can be more easily accessible to staff without them having to um, go to organised um, mandatory training sessions. Um, and so we're looking at um, when we do a baseline assessment of somebody's um, skill level, we then randomise them to either have face-to-face -face training and then we reassess them after three and six months, or to CART-based training and then they get reassessed after three and six months. And we're also doing a sub-study where we're actually looking at um, how long the skills that they've been trained in actually last for, so specifically skill degradation. So we're, with one group we're assessing them and training them at baseline and then six months and another group we're assessing them and training them at baseline and three months for both the CART training and the face-to-face -face training so that we can make some kind of judgement on how frequently staff need to repeat their CPR training to maintain their CPR skills and actually pass the assessment. I've come on board to do the recruitment as in January, so just the last four weeks uh, going ward to ward and do all the different areas to recruit as many operational, allied health, medical and nursing staff to jump on to this voluntary project. Well, most people are really excited because, uh, like Alison said, it's uh, completely movable around the, the hospital and it's self-engaging, so outside of the project, people can log on to them on themselves, have a practice in between, um, you know, their busy times and um, really get their skills up in the CPR compressions. And there's an activity that comes up saying compressions. They click on that. They can watch a little video uh, to help with the training. And then all they do is jump on and do compressions consistently until the computer tells you to stop. During that time, it actually gives you uh, feedback. Uh, move your hands to the center of the chest, dig a little deeper. That means your compressions aren't deep enough. Uh, go a little faster or a little slower if it deems that you're too fast for the rate. Uh, if it's all going well, it actually says, good job, keep going. So it gives you positive and um, constructive criticism <laughs> feedback.